to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair dinner. Step up! These are the moments when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense No matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense In Jamaica's relentless war and crime The worst criminals End up on the true island stories platform These are their stories Welcome to True Island Stories. This is part one of Duppy's Revenge. A Halloween special for those who love dark and grisly tales. Oh! This is Fright Night. <laughs> A very dark, cold and colorless heart he brings. So many souls has been lost from the gun he slings. Fire and plunder ravish the lands. His heads and hands are severed from limbs. Many hated and dreaded this nefarious bandicoot. This is the merciless tale of the despicable Duppy Fell, part one. <laughs> We have already covered an epic series on this callous vermin, but there are many atrocities that was left off. But nevertheless, the work must be fulfilled. Marlon Perry is a name known throughout the JDF landscape and both the island diaspora of Jamaica. Very evil and nonchalant character he was when it came to carrying out murders. Anybody can get it, even you perhaps. Hmm? <laughs> Cause as the saying goes, if I egg, me if in I red, if I sandwich, me if it between the bread, and if I gunshot, holy guru God, I go and die in bed. Me not take the shot for nobody. Me a Charleston white it out. <laughs> who do go and go take who do dead things by yourself? Me a coward. I saw with bones to my bodies. I don't be a tell you that. But for an joke attack, I too side full. If you remember the police who I said, kick him up in him face in him. Look on his face. See his eyes? Well, that's a result from a wound he received from a skeleton. All right, while he and his cousin attempted to rob Winsome's bar, where his cousin was left lifeless, that's where he picked up that skeleton. The officer, whose name was uh, Craig Palmer, a.k.a. Barney, look on your screen now. This is a pic of Barney, the cop that Duppy film dirt. O.C. Westside was a constant threat to Duppy. Duppy knew exactly where he lived in Yala's housing scheme. He knew that Barney's parents owned a business alongside the roadway adjacent to their home. But he, Duppy, wanted Barney and not his family member. See, Duppy was a very peculiar character, an Halloween ghoul, a goblin. But he had his principles nonetheless. A stone called a killer. Do not get this misconstrued. But he picked his victims very carefully, he did. Duppy would sometimes go to capture settlements in Poor Man's Corner by the name of Cuba, which was very close to Barney's home, and fire numerous shots in the air to attempt to scare him. One night in December of 2015, Barney held a memorial for his belated sister, who had passed a few years back. Duppy pulled up near Barney's parents' business place where the event was keeping and sent a message to him, 
telling him his end was near. And he would be getting vengeance for his cousin real soon. Yeah, tell the Babylon boy to feed him to him in the air, you know. Because anyway, I'm going to buck him, I'm going to chuck him up, you know. Tell him that shit, yeah? No, keep back at that. And tip with dog. Now, after hearing this in such an aggressive tone and fed up manner, Barney took the mic and said, Some man has sent shit, but anything or anything, member, you know, we not run from boy, you know. I remember, me na left it. I he's half a dirty glock from out of ring in Chosey front of MT click na this guy half a two chicken hat. Loop, 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 and go so kish, and drop the empty maga maga in and go so kish, and show up back a full as night to mock in and go so kish, and seal it back one in night head in and go so clip, 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 and breeze out about six out of 21 clip, quick and fast, you know, out of time lies if I am, you know. Then the very daring and troublesome dirty film answered immediately. Ten shots from his rifle. The dopey donor rise up him six pants like a kite and flat me dance. Kuma 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 A knife out four pan single burst in a man and then goes and turn it pan rapid and him to the beast na the east in a man Brooks 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 Lone sparks to the cloud in a blood missing and then silence not a single sound or movement as the dupid one stepped through the parted crowd you could hear the leaves as they crunched beneath his cheesy the timberland boots the assembly had received this message loud and clear this is Fright Night! <laughs> Dopey had sent his message also, letting him know that he was ready to, and he was very near and waiting. Three days later, Barney was dead. Dead, dead, executed mercilessly by the dupid delinquent and his cronies. Barney was secuted three days after this fracas. And if you want to know more about this incident in detail, you need to check out the Duppy film story on this channel. Part one, though, part one of the first volume is on the Patreon. Part two is on YouTube, but part one is not on YouTube. So you need to go check the origins if you want to know how to join the patreon the link is in the description click on that and you'll be all set to go so after dirting the two cops the carefree doppy carried on his life as if nothing had happened doodly 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 and guess what he was not even hiding he could be seen amongst regular patrons of society daily as if he had not done the most atrocious thing known to the uh, uh, police fraternity. One day in Moran Bay, a man saw Duppy and said, Yo, yo, go buy two phone cards over the stuff for my brother. And Duppy humbly took the money and scampered across the store and purchased the phone cards and then returned the man's change and phone cards and went on his merry way. Doodly doo 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 A man who stood beside the man who sent out Duppy said, Big man. You know how would I tell you so now? And the man replied, No? How him? The other man said, I don't you feel that? I'm here. Hot piss immediately started tripping down the interior of the pilgrim's leg into his shoes, ranking it up. He was shocked as he could not believe that the most wanted man in Jamaica was so barefaced. 
You're talking about barefaced. It is alleged that Doppy was in Moran Bay one day where he deliberately bounced a known police officer on his shoulder. Oof. And after reaching a distance away from the officer, he called to him and said, You say I could have dead door. <laughs> and me bounce a while ago, you know. The officer was shocked in his boots, shaking. And immediately sent for the whole of Morant Bay Police, a hundred man column, pull up a search, everything, everything we moved that day. But Duppy, <laughs> he was long gone. <laughs> Many said Duppy had supernatural powers which he attained from the witch doctors in Haiti. It is even whispered in the eastern corridors that he, Duppy, could transform into a bat and flee the area. <laughs> Hence, the security forces could not catch him. And this is why he eluded them at Cement Factory in Harborview in 2016 in the era of our Lord. Check the Duppy film story on the platform. It is also said that Duppy's spiritual guard works. Once he fires his rifle and runs towards the police, they will get so confused that he will be able to escape them in a jiffy. Don't look at me. I, I can't attest to these superstitions, you know. I'm just a bare storyteller, not a detailed detective sieving in through the frictions. No. Other than on frictions, perhaps. But Toppy was so daring that he made a police officer who resided somewhere in the rural areas of Yalas district left his home because his home was secluded and was surrounded by lush vegetation, which he, the cop, thought was to his advantage. But alas, he was wrong. Duppy did wrong. It was more to Duppy's advantage. Duppy went to the officer's home on numerous occasions, but his efforts proved futile on each attempt. In the year 2016, Duppy pounced on a man in Baptist Yalas. Get your guard off, so steam out him chest and boom, 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 boom off him head as he was going to court on one of Duppy's associates. Even though his associate didn't request his favor, Duppy took doing this as a proof of his loyalty. Even though he, Duppy, trusted no one, nada, nunca. Duppy is accused of dirting a lot of his friends due to his imminent paranoia. He was a very paranoid individual. Stone Cold Killer. Even his friends got it occasionally. And if you remember his friend named Jogze, who I spoke about in the series before, where Duppy pulled up on him in a yard in Pondside, boop, 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 parried out him head back and boop, 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 and guess why? Because he said Jugs was an informer based on the fact that Jugs' mother was dating a police officer at the time and he, Jugs, would be seen corresponding with the policeman from time to time. Many discarded this notion saying Jugs never told on him. But we all know the saying, you lie with dogs then, alas, you rise with the fleas within, fought with, notwithstanding. Hmm? Who about? Yes, I agree, sir. Quite so, I agree, sir. Yes, sir. I must condemn you, sir. And there goes the blender downstairs when I'm telling my story. My mother in law and that freaking blender. You hear that? Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Right in the middle of Halloween Friday night. Oh, boy. Oh, me, oh, me. Oh, always me. You hear that? That's the shit I be talking about. That's the frickeries the buffoon that I be alluding to. No, what if me go so no? Uh uh, like go today on Monday. Hear it? I'm just waiting till like I do. I'm just gonna squeeze out a coconut one, a, a whole ripe up one from yesterday to a key hole I run. Lick her with one through the key hole and think up in your room and cut it. Un eat it here, so we keep it up. Say, right, watch me at him, man. Wait, wait. You see me at you, wait. Ah, oh, boy. You see me if I put up with for you guys? Left in the comment section, if I just go squeeze out one through the key hole and think up in your room in there. Just... You want to see me, man. Sure. But, anyway. 
Them said up here a big man friend who resided overseas, but would visit Jamaica on a regular basis, and he was a, a violent financier because he would give a dopey contracts, you know, murder for hire and such the likes, so forth and so on, and fund his survival. One day, the man told him to meet him in a community near Morant Bay as he had something for him. Dopey pulled up on the scene with his M16 rifle and a knapsack filled with all varieties of ammunition and splendor, also with a Mac 11 across his shoulder, ready for whoever and whatever. Bring it, you mother f Bring it if you're bad. So after speaking to the man and getting his money, Dopey then disappeared into the shalooms after entering a nearby yard. Dopey took the riverside and went on his merry way. The Mac 11 of Dopey is said to be a legend. Spook. Oh, come on with the blender. Dopey said, you know, but he said, I need to bite. But he said, I need to bite, you know. That Mac 11 of Duffy is said to be a legend spoke about amongst many in Marant Bay. And it is said, once Duffy swung that Mac 11 behind his back, nothing but mayhem and chaos was unleashed, helping him to escape the cops at all times. The sound from it alone sent them in a duck and run for cover mode. Even though Duppy had his unscrupulous gang of hoodlums and murderers. Duppy loved walking alone because he kept his eye on everyone at all times. Now, he had a police officer by the name of Gibbs who Duppy wanted like a hot bread because he knew Gibbs, knew him very well, as it is alleged that he used to be friends with him and even went on many missions together. Well, this is alleged. Anyway, Gibbs got word that Duppy was constantly in the White Horses district area on the farm. Gibbs, along with few other police officers, pulled up on the location where they spotted one of the persons on the farm and then jammed him on set. We've come to the end of part one of Halloween. Right night, Duppy's Revenge, volume two. Join us for part two, the finale, coming soon on the True Island Stories. Please do like, share, subscribe, and press that little notification bell so you do not miss the other story and several other stories we have trickling, trickling down the river's embankment right to your thirsted eardrum. <laughs> do remember that you can receive this is on the channel. Check it out. Check out the j story posted earlier. Enough more Kathleen's are come up. And another thing, remember, check out jafoods.shop. Anything you want in America, they will deliver it to your door. Fish, chicken, oxtail, rice, breadfruit, patty, tota, guinea, missy, can cake, missy, Jamaican dirt, missy, cat liver, anything you want. The limb could send you or call them at 445 446 6445. That's 445 446 6445. Until next time, what good? Still the trouble. Please, we have the book Darker Side of Paradise. It's cheaper online, but if you want it, volume one and volume two, $50 a copy. I promise you, if you don't like it, 31 episodes. I'll give you your money back. But if you want to support the God, trust me, you want to get to know me better, how I grew up, the abuses I went through, email me, trueislandstories at gmail.com and you will get it, expresso. But even though you buy the book from me, if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up in trial and the stories what? Well, a you chooser. I am joy. Pepper. You know the real tender. Huh? 
How I grow up, sometime, the road tough side slow <laughs> Real patriots never buck left a fall How they get a run, that's why Back from the boy, who don't do that? Who? Uh. Who no can't kill with Jai, who no do uh. Who from your soul don't know what wrong do it? Yo, man and a man bust a shot him off a pack up and go Mind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that eh? guy <laughs> No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the set song One one head man will live long, name one Things will ever be ruined not done, name one And good and his politician, name one and get a youth resilient Back from the boy who no do that Who no not care and kill with joy Who no do that Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy Yo, yo, yo a man better go And a man bust a shot him off a back up and go Bind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that yo a man better Things risky for the misfit Death rate fit the logistic Chris Chris Ha! I want the biscuit ha. Eight tough crackers with a whiskey uh, hmm. You're not listening uh, Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful, they know what the business is Murder, plunder, village in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich, you do a special delivery Nightmare, in time into the images Vengeance, blood the cycle continuing but no, you seek that, but it's no revenge. Looking at the mirror, there is no different. One we full of, hey, how we know we trends back from the boy, who no do that? Who? Uh, who no can't kill with child? Who no do that? Who from your soul don't know who are and who? Yup, now I'm on the guy. Any man bust no shot him off a back up and who? Mind it on him head back and who? Pop off him strap on him friend him for do it. None of that, yo, I'm on better No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live long Name one, bring some fella with the Oh, name one, one honest politician Name one, who? And get a youth resilient Fuck from the boy, we not do that Who? Can't kill with child on the back who from your soul don't know what wrong go eh? Yo, yo a man better go eh? Any man bust a shot him off a back up and go Mind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him to do it eh? None of that to the gut eh? Yo, you know the thing going up, set a seat up a beat there you know? Hey man, take your time man My boy, go man Go to them purple